Hello. Hi, everybody. It's the return of What's New Wednesdays. Um, I used to do these videos uh, all the time last winter, and then um, life got kind of hectic, and I stopped doing them, but I am planning on bringing these back. Hello. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to give you guys a closer look at some of the new stuff that has arrived in the shop. Hi. Um, and then um, I will talk a little bit about embroidery kits and open a whole bunch of different kits, show you what's inside so you have a better idea of uh, what you get in a different embroidery kit. Hello, thanks for joining me. Um, so my plan is to go back to doing these What's New Wednesdays on a regular basis. Um, my hope is to do them on the last Wednesday of the month um, at around this, around lunchtime. Um, there is a new thing up on the website. I have uh, put together a calendar. So if you head to um, the shop and you click here on classes and events, um, you'll see that there's now a new thing called events calendar. If you tap on that, you'll see that there is now a calendar. Um, and so all of the What's New Wednesdays are listed on here. Um, new classes as um, and you can click on it and go right into register if there's a class that you want to take uh, as I start having open studio days where folks can come in here and shop um, and appointments all that kind of stuff is going to be going up on this calendar so you can find that over on the website um, and like I said last Wednesday of the month I'll be doing these what's new Wednesdays so all right um, well, since the last time I did one of these, a whole bunch of stuff is new, but uh, I'm going to focus mostly on some embroidery stuff that has come in, since I'll be taking a look at embroidery kits in a little bit, uh, embroidery and cross-stitch. So let's jump right in. Um, with the delivery of the Rico um, Designs embroidery hoops, I also got some new wooden embroidery hoops from them, and these are the horizontal ovals. Uh, lots of folks have been looking for these. I used to carry these a couple years ago and then I lost my supplier, wasn't able to find one until I found these. These are the hardwood beach hoops with uh, the, they have the little screw um, so that you can tighten these really, really tight with a screwdriver. They come in three different sizes, the four by six, six by nine and eight by 12, this really big one. So if you've been looking for a horizontal oval hoop, I now have them in three different sizes. So you can find those um, over in the shop. Lots of new needle minders are also now in the shop. If you're not familiar with what a needle minder is, um, it's this little doodad here that you stick onto your hoop. Uh, it consists of two magnets. There's the decorative magnet on the front, um, and a magnet that you put on the back so that you can put this right onto your hoop. Um, and then that gives you a magnetic surface to rest your needle on as you're stitching. That way you don't have to stick extra holes into your fabric. Uh, it gives you a place to rest your needle. Um, some of them are strong enough and big enough to even put a little pair of scissors on there. So there's a whole bunch of new needle minders. This is the Lotus Blossom uh, that's up on the shop. There are there's a little elephant uh, that's up there now. This little fox is there. And these are all about an inch, a little bit under an inch, so they're uh, nice and small and unobtrusive. There's a little gingerbread house. Um, a fun little llama uh, is up there. And then from Cozy Blue, uh, there's an enamel uh, needle minder that's brand new, and this is um, her based on her B hoop, uh, and this is a fun little needle minder. So there's several new needle minders up in the shop now. Yeah, they are pretty adorable. Um, lots and lots of new thread and much more waiting to be listed. Uh, so there's the Appleton's Cruel Wool Thread. I have several new colors. Some, um, if you've bought the thread from me before, you notice that I bunch them by color families. Uh, some are additions to, like this is an addition to the already existing bright green color family. Um, some are new color families, uh, like there's a whole new red set. There is a whole new pastel color set. So there, um, and there is a whole new set of 
purples. Um, so there's lots of new wool thread if you like working with the Appletons. And there is a bunch of new Soie d'Alger silk thread as well. Um, similar to the Appletons, if you look on the site and you see the little new tag on it, um, some of them I just got one or two new colors in a color family, and then I got these two complete brand new color families. This is the marine blue, and it has seven different colors in it. Um, and then I have this five color gold family set. So there's new colors of the Soie d'Alger up in the shop today. Um, this came in a couple of weeks ago. In Sashiko, we've got the the same Daruma thin thread, if you're familiar with this, now comes in 11, 11 I think, um, different variegated colors. So all the colors are um, up in the shop. There is one color that's sold out, but it's on its way um, and should be here uh, by the end of next week, I think. So, um, so lots of new variegated Sashiko threads. There's also these brand new uh, embroidery floss color sets. These come from Olympus of Japan, um, and they are Olympus Embroidery Floss, um, which isn't very well known here in the US, but it's a great uh, brand of embroidery floss. Really sturdy, vibrant colors, color fast, everything that you want in an embroidery floss, nice and soft. The great thing, this is called their Garden Party Collection. So all of the different sets of uh, embroidery floss come, they're inspired by different flowers or plants in a garden, so dandelions, lilacs, um, roses, there's a lot of really great color combinations. You get two yards, so a little over six feet of each of the colors on here, um, and there's ten colors per card, so you get a really nice selection of embroidery floss. This works really well um, if you have an embroidery design that you have found online, a PDF that you're going to download, transfer onto your own fabric, but you don't know what you want to use your colors for. These pre-matched color sets um, are fantastic because you don't really have to think about it. They're already coordinated. Um, they match and go together. So um, these are great. Um, let's see. There's a question, I think. No questions. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Um, okay, so I have nine different uh, color sets available. You can find these if you search for Garden Party. You'll see um, all the different color sets that are available up in the shop. Uh, let's see, a couple of fun little notions. Thread Magic Thread Conditioner now comes in this handy little cube that has a thread cutter in it. So you can condition your thread um, and cut it at the same time. Uh, thread magic, is, this is whenever I stitch with metallic thread, I use this all the time. Um, this is the only way I can stitch with metallic thread is by using a thread conditioner. So uh, thread conditioners can be used on just about any thread. It's just going to make your thread glide more smoothly and easily through your fabric um, and can be a really handy tool. So that's fun. We have a new metallic uh, pin dish in rose gold. Uh, and this is just to keep track of your pins and needles. Um, it's got a really super strong magnet. It will actually stick onto metallic surfaces as well. Um, so uh, that's new in the shop. And I also have a new seam roller uh, by Violet Crafts. Um, and what this is, is a little tool that you can use to press your seams open or to the side if you're not near um, an iron. So it uh, comes really handy in foundation paper piecing, um, any kind of sewing, anything that you uh, don't want to fire up your iron for and you just want a nice flat seam, that's what these are for. So this is now um, up in the shop. Moving over to new embroidery kits uh, and patterns that are up. There's a couple from Cozy Blue. Uh, I've got Midnight Flight and Stargazer are now available as kits in the shop. Um, from Drop Cloth Samplers, there is the Compass Sampler. Uh, I don't have the brand new Picnic one yet. Uh, hopefully next month I'll have that and the new uh, Wonderful Floss set that Rebecca uh, coordinated. Um, but I do have Compass is now up in the shop. Uh, from Olympus, the same folks that um, you all probably know from Sashiko Thread and all the Sashiko samplers, 
uh, they are really branching out into the embroidery market and so they are putting together some really great fun different um, embroidery kits and so I have some of their new kits um, as well there are these embroidery lessons one two and three and what these are are little um, stitch samplers so you get the sampler that's pre-printed on the fabric, you get all of the embroidery floss and a needle. So there's no hoop included in here. But um, on one side, you have all of the stitches that you're going to use um, to create the little design that's on the other side of the fabric. And then you can turn this into a coaster, um, you can turn it into a brooch, uh, and the same with each one increases in difficulty slightly in terms of which stitches you are learning. The instructions are all in Japanese, um, but uh, there are links on um, my website where you can download the English version instructions for these um, if you want to use that, or you can just use a stitch, stitch dictionary um, to figure out what the stitches are. So these are, are really cute and a lot of fun. These just went up today, um, and I absolutely love them. These are kits to make your own face mask storage pouch. Um, one day, hopefully, we will not be using face masks all the time, and then you can just use this as a regular little small storage pouch. But for now, I think this is brilliant. In the front pocket, you uh, store your mask, and in the back pocket, you can store a filter, a surgical mask, um, and it's everything you need to make this is inside this kit. So the, um, the pattern to embroider comes pre-printed on this fabric that um, I had, that if you have been um, keeping up with some of the other new stuff I've been kind of posting here and there, I got a whole bunch of new Japanese cotton canvas fabric in and it's a lightweight canvas. It's really, really soft, um, and it's lovely for embroidery. It's thicker than a quilting cotton, but not as heavy as an actual cotton canvas. And this fabric is 100% cotton, but it it's, has that similar, um, they call it antique stitching fabric. It has a wrinkly appearance to it. It's very, very soft. You don't need a backing fabric on it because it's thick enough uh, to support the tension of your stitches and you're not going to see any shadowing through. So really, really nice fabric. It also includes the little clasp for your pouch. So um, I was only able to get a handful of these to start off. So I've got five of these and five of these. This one says cheerful. This one says spiritual beauty and it is um, cherry blossoms. Uh, so these are up um, in the shop now. And if you are really uh, want to go whole hog, you've got the face mask storage pouch, and then from Unshot you can stitch up your own face mask as well. These kits are also back in stock. Two different designs, there's this floral one and there's a blue mandala one, so keep you busy um, while we're all back to wearing face masks. <laughs> um, from Unshot there's also a new kit um, here from them. This is the Sun Meets Moon. Um, and it's a beautiful new celestial design. Their kits, I will open one of these up in just a second so you can see what's inside. Um, these guys are in France, that's where these kits come from. Complete kits uh, that even this, uh, the what it's packaged in is a really nice little storage envelope for um, traveling once you're done uh, stitching up your things. So that's a new design from them. Um, and let's see, I think the last of the new stuff that I pulled to show you today is I have five new kits uh, from Junebug and Darling. This is, um, these are cross stitch kits. These are complete cross stitch kits. They are handmade up in Portland by Zoe. Um, she has a new uh, cross stitch class on one of the services, Craftsy or Creative Bug, I'm not really sure, but um, she's got a, a video class that you can watch. Uh, there's also a cro intro to cross stitch class through Snuggly Monkey. Um, that'll be happening in October. Uh, it's a two hour class via Zoom. Uh, there's a weeknight session and there's a Saturday session. So if you've been interested in cross stitch um, and you, but you don't know where to get started, be sure to check that class out. My friend Kelly um, is gonna be teaching it. She's an incredible um, cross stitch artist. She's just kind of a, 
woman of all trades. She does all sorts of things, quilting, um, all sorts of things. She's really, really talented. So she's going to be teaching the intro to cross stitch class. Um, like I said, there's uh, two sessions, one um, early October and one Saturday later on in October. So you'll find those um, up on the website. But there are five new uh, cross stitch kits. Um, this is Moonlit Daisy. And then there's Summer Bird, Coral Floral, Midnight Floral, and Wild Rose and Moth. So all five of these are up on the shop. Um, and let me go ahead and open one of these so that you can see just what is inside of uh, one of these kits. So I'm a huge fan of kits. I love a kit. Uh, sometimes I just want to get started. I don't want to um, have to gather a whole bunch of supplies and everything you need to do this entire project is in this envelope. So when you open this up, this is what is inside. So you get, this is a six inch pattern, uh, five inch pattern, sorry. So you get your five inch embroidery hoop. You get, I love her packaging. She has put so much thought and effort into this. This is where all of your embroidery floss is that you need for the kit. She uses DMC floss um, and you'll see all the different colors are in here. So you're getting full skeins of floss um, in here. You get two John James needles uh, on that cute little piece of felt. You get your Ada cloth that you need to do your stitching. And then she even includes, this is a padding for when you're finishing up your hoop at the end. She includes a piece of felt for the backing and padding um, to pad your hoop. So this is a complete kit. Uh, she's got hand-drawn instructions that guide you through how to cross stitch beautifully very well detailed and then finally you have your full color stitching chart so that's what you find inside of the june bug and darling um cross stitch kits now let's take a look at some of the other kits that um, are available and what they're like what makes them different um, so this is kiriki press uh, i that's what is in that card catalog behind me i love these kits they are a lot of fun to do um, what these are, are these little plushies. So you embroider the whole front and then uh, you stuff them and turn them into these little um, 3D dolls. So I've done uh, several of them. <laughs> they really are a lot of fun. She has them in tons of different animals and different levels. So this is her level three, which is um, kind of her intermediate, more advanced kit. And that's because the entire surface is covered in stitches. The level one kits are, um, you're more kind of embellishing the image uh, rather than stitching the entire front surface. So what you get inside of this cute little box is, you get your screen printed design on the fabric. So this is the front and this is where you're gonna be stitching. This is the back and what you use to sew your little doll together. So everything that you need to make the doll is right here. You get a complete set of instructions that guides you through how, what stitches to use, how to do the stitches, and how to sew it all together in the end. Very clear, very easy to follow. Um, you get uh, the floss that you need to complete the kit and you even get a little pouch of stuffing uh, for your, for, to make the little doll at the end. So the only thing that you need to add into this is an embroidery hoop and uh, some needles, and then you're good to go and you are ready to stitch. So those are the Kiriki Press stuffed doll kits. Kiriki also does stitch samplers. Um, they look like this and they are kind of similar to the Olympus samplers where uh, you're learning how to do a variety of stitches on the outside and all of these stitches are used to stitch up the central um, image here. So these kits include, they open up like that um, and you get the design printed up 
on cotton fabric. You get all the floss that you need and you get a uh, John James needle in here. There's also a link on the packaging um, that will take you to a, a stitch guide to help you figure out how to do all of these stitches. So there's about, I think, 17 different designs that are available now. Um, there's a club um, that they run, and then um, these are from that club that you, after the club gets them, then they release them to the public. So those are the kits from Kiriki. Recently, I added hook, line, and tinker kits, and these are fantastic. I just finished stitching this one up over the weekend. It was so much fun to do. Um, I, I love stitching in just two colors. It makes it really easy and enjoyable and meditative, um, and it's just a really, really beautiful kit to do. So this is what the hook, line, and tinker kits look like when you get them. Uh, when you open it up, what you get inside is an embroidery hoop, and then you get this nice little envelope that has, these are from Nova Scotia, Canada, so she includes a really sweet little postcard in there um, of where they are. There's a stitch guide that shows you how to do all the stitches, basics of embroidery. You get, in this particular kit, you get two full skeins of embroidery floss, you get an embroidery needle, and then um, you get your pattern already printed on this. Uh, this is a really lovely, um, she says it's a cotton muslin that she uses, but it's it's not like your standard muslin. It has more texture to it, a little bit more weight to it. It feels really, really nice. Um, and it has a slightly more open weave so that you can see where to put your stitches really nicely. So that is uh, what's inside. And then you get you do get a color instruction sheet uh, that shows you where the different colors go on the kit. So um, that is what's inside of the hook, line, and tinker kits. I have, I don't know, about nine or ten um, of those different designs available in the shop. Um, you'll notice that I, I like to stitch in plastic hoops. So whenever I have a hoop that comes in a kit, I will usually stitch in a plastic hoop and then once I'm done, I'll transfer it into a wooden hoop um, for framing and putting up on my wall. But I personally prefer uh, to stitch in plastic hoops. So I always have a, a hoop separate. Um, okay, let's take a look now. Um, Un Chat dans la Guy. These are the French kits that I was mentioning earlier. Um, these are a lot of fun. The face mask kit is from them. And with these kits, there's two different kinds. So some of her kits include an embroidery hoop. Some of her kits do not include an embroidery hoop. All of that is always very clearly listed in the listing. Um, so make sure and pay attention to that when you are looking at these, whether it's a kit that has a hoop or does not have a hoop. Um, but when you open these up, like I said, these are a, kind of a thick gauge plastic, so it's not cellophane, um, that you could easily use as a project bag um, to store once you, as you're working on this one or once you're done with this one, you can use it to store things um, later on. So. In their kits, you also get all of the floss that you will need to complete this kit. You get an embroidery hoop, you get a embroidery needle, and then you get the design pre-printed onto, um, I think she uses, this doesn't feel like cotton, I think she uses a linen blend, a slightly different feel to it, more texture to it. And then um, she has, instructions that are in French, but even if you don't speak French, uh, <laughs> you don't read French, they are very graphic. You, it's, they're pretty easy to, um, to figure out. And stitch charts, that's what's all in here. Uh, what I have done with the, because she has this to help you sort out your embroidery floss, and so what I've done uh, when I've stitched up her kits in the past is I've actually taken a hole punch and just punched a hole right above this guide and then sorted my thread right on this guide. Threaded it through the holes that I make um, and then that way I have easy access to the colors as I'm stitching and it keeps my thread organized. So um, I find these really, really helpful. Uh, so that is pretty much what is in your standard 
Unshat kit. And like I mentioned before, just make sure to check whether or not it includes the embroidery hoop and if you have to buy the embroidery hoop separately. Uh, let's look at the Tamar Nahir kits. Um, so these kits are beautiful. The ones that I stock in the shop are the ones that do not include the embroidery hoop. These come in from Israel, um, so just to reduce on the weight and the overall packaging, um, I opt to carry the non-embroidery hoop versions of these because I have so many embroidery hoops in the shop. So if you uh, buy one of the Tamar kits from my shop, just make sure that you grab the embroidery hoop that goes with it. And again, in the listing, I always say which size hoop you need. Something, um, well, let me show you how these are packaged. So these are, they are nice and flat. Um, and she does all this by hand. It's beautifully, beautifully done. She takes a lot of time. Uh, let me open this up. All right, so when you order one of Tamar's kits, you are getting the design uh, printed. And then similar to the hook, line, and tinker, she uses a slightly heavier weight um, fabric to print her designs on. So you don't necessarily need a backing fabric uh, on hers because they are they are thicker. Uh, she uses DMC floss uh, that she puts onto these handy little cards and labels for you. And then there is um, a stitch guide in English uh, right behind here. Uh, it also includes an embroidery needle uh, that you'll see right there. So that's what you get when you um, buy one of Tamar's kits. What I did want to point out, because I get this question a lot, um, is so this, for example, is a four inch kit. So you would use a four inch embroidery hoop to stitch this up. And if you look at the design, you'll see that all the way to the edges, she designs not just the central image, which is what you see here, but she adds extras onto the edges. So when it says that it's a four inch pattern for her, that means that the design in the center is what is meant to be within the four inch hoop. This extra that's on the outside is if you are a person that doesn't stitch with a hoop, if you stitch in hand, um, then that's how you would get to stitching out these extras. If you prefer to only stitch in the hoop and you just want this design, and that's just pretty for you to look at. You don't have to worry about the designs that are on the edges. She goes all the way to the edges so that you can use this not only um, in a hoop, but that way you can use it um, if you want to applique this onto something, you want to turn it into a wall hanging, you want to incorporate it into a quilt label, um, anything you can think of that is square shaped rather than the round hoop shaped. So most of her patterns have extra designs outside of what the stated size of the pattern is. I know that confuses a lot of folks. Um, there's some that have a lot of color already uh, printed onto the fabric. And I get messages saying, oh my goodness, I have the wrong size, it doesn't fit. It's not meant to fit. <laughs> um, the extras are there so that you have a little bit more flexibility with what you want to do. Um, Tamar has, I don't even know at this point how many kits, uh, different designs she has with new ones coming all the time. Um, I actually have two brand new ones uh, from her that I'm hoping to get um, listed very soon. But I've got, I think, over 25 different designs um, of, of hers that are a lot of fun to do and they're quite beautiful. Um, so let's talk a minute about uh, drop cloth samplers uh, because sometimes I get questions and folks uh, that think that these are complete kits. And uh, I just wanna clarify that drop cloth samplers are not complete kits. So when you buy a drop cloth sampler, um, what you are purchasing is the design that is pre-printed onto uh, cotton fabric. So inside of this envelope, this is what you get. Um, show us what you have of tomorrow's. Yeah, I can, once I'm done in a second, I can actually take the phone over there um, and show you guys um, what I have of hers. So this is what you get um, in a drop cloth sampler, um, is the design that is printed onto cotton fabrics so that you can pop it into a hoop and stitch it up. 
but it does not come with um, any threads or needles or hoops or anything. So all you're buying is the sampler. Um, but the great thing about drop cloth samplers is that it really opens up your creativity so that you can decide what threads you want to use, what colors, your hoops, all of that stuff. So, um, but I know that at, sometimes folks are confused and think this is a complete kit. The, I do have um, in the shop, I have a uh, color floss set that coordinates with the color wheel, for example. Um, and I have it in Cosmo embroidery floss as well as size eight pearl cotton. So whichever one you want to stitch. Um, and these are all the colors that I used when I stitched up mine. And so they coordinate with the colors um, that are printed on the sampler already. This is also, um, these are, this is a great time to use those floss sets that I mentioned earlier when you're not sure what colors you want to use, uh, but you know that you like blues. So pick out a set of blues and uh, it's got all the colors already coordinated for you. So um, I think those are all of the kits that um, I pulled uh, to show you. Um, there are uh, there are so many great designers that are starting to get into kit making, which is fantastic. Um, so there will be uh, more kits uh, coming because they're really popular. They're really easy uh, to use. It's a great way if you are curious about embroidery and just not sure where to start. Um, kits make it really, really easy because you just have to buy that one thing and it generally has everything um, that you need in it. Um, which kits to start with in terms of difficulty level. Uh, hook, line, and tinker kits I think are fantastic beginner level kits. This one uh, basically just used a running stitch and a back stitch and a tiny bit of satin stitch. So it's just three stitches and you can get um, a whole design. The cozy blue kits also um, tend to be great uh, beginner, advanced beginner kits. Um, she doesn't use a whole bunch of complicated stitches in her designs. A little bit more than the hook, line, and tinker because um, there usually are some French knots. Um, but cozy blue kits are also a great beginner. And then, like I said, with the Kiriki Press, you just pick a level one kit. Um, this panda is a level one so that you can see uh, what I mean about that you're really just kind of outlining. You're using, again, back stitches, satin stitches. So these are all great kits for beginners. Um, all right, so let's take you over. I had a question about which Tamar kits um, I have. So let me bring you over here so you can take a look. So this is, these are all <laughs> Tamar kits and then these two drawers are also filled with her kits so like I said her kits are really popular she's got tons of beautiful designs um, she's got lots of florals and gardens um, she has this series of the hair bun girl dreamy lady um, flower crown and garden lady she's got a whole series for the holidays of Christmas crown, winter night, uh, the Christmas tree, Christmas crown, all of these. So, and then she's got these, um, the blue series as well, which are all done uh, in just one color. And those are quite popular. Um, and then, like I said, drawers and drawers full of, of her kits. So there are, lots and lots of options for Tamar's kits. Um, while I'm over here, um, look, there's even more Tamar kits up here. <laughs> um, these are all your different options for the uh, Unshot kits. You've got, um, these are the new ones. These are the masks uh, that I was showing you. This is the other design, the blue mandalas. These are, this is her Salome series. Uh, down here you have, uh, these are hook, line, and tinker, and drop cloth um, is down there. Uh, do I have the autumn? Yes, I have both uh, magical autumn 
uh, which is this one. And then I also have autumn leaves, uh, which is this one. All right. I can't wait to visit your shop. I am looking forward to having folks join me in here <laughs> uh, once things calm down a little bit. Um, so here you've got cozy blue. Again, lots and lots of different options. Um, and you've got June bug and darling down there. So that's kind of a quick overview of uh, some of the embroidery um, kits that are here in the shop. Uh, if at any point you have questions, you want to know more about a particular kit, you need a suggestion on uh, what you should stitch, please don't hesitate. I'm always so happy uh, to answer your questions. Send me an email um, and let me know and see how I can help you. So thank you so much uh, for joining me. Hope this was helpful. Um, and like I said, I will be doing uh, these What's New Wednesdays uh, once a month, last Wednesday. Um, Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, last Wednesday of the month, lunchtime, join me and I will uh, show you what's new. All right. Have a great day. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Bye.